Christy, thank you. In just a month, Mary Black Gaffney is saying it's going to stop providing to Cherokee County free ambulance service. The county now it's scrambling for coverage. It says it has plans in place to protect its citizens. Brianna Smith gets the inside details of the meetings that took place today. She joins us now. Brianna. Yeah, Gordon, the fight stems from a contract signed in 1984 between Cherokee County and Mary Black Gaffney, saying the hospital system would provide ambulance service forever for free of cost. But now Cherokee County is having to make some changes. When Cherokee County sold their county-run hospital in 1984, a lifetime contract came with it that the hospital system would pay for and run the ambulances. 34 years later, Mary Black decided they could not afford the cost of that contract. Unfortunately, this is one that we can't sustain. We can't sustain the losses. Mary Black Gaffney sent this letter in December to the county, stating at the end of February it would no longer provide ambulance services free of cost to the county, leaving them scrambling mid-fiscal year without money set aside to pay for the service. I'm already working on the, the, the details now to try to get protection for this county. Today, Cherokee County met with the hospital system, asking for the service to be extended through June, but they're also looking at legal avenues. That's why we're going into litigation to try to hold a 1984 contract to this day. The county says they have enough money saved away to pay for EMS service while that litigation is underway. But if it doesn't go in their favor, they may have to raise taxes. Well, it's like it's going to be merely set aside for EMS. State law requires the county to have five ambulances, costing around $1.5 million. A 10 millage increase means taxes would increase around $60 for every $100,000 home, meaning everyone would pay for this broken contract. I just want everyone to know that we are going to protect this county. Even if forever ambulance service, even if they thought that was a bad contract. Is there any legal option for, for Mary Black Hospital to, to break a contract? The, not what, from what I've been told from the county, former county administrator as well as this county council chairman, but they say that's why they're going to court about this because they want a judge to look at this contract. Now what's interesting is the county did not sell the hospital to Mary Black Gaffney back in 1984. They re recently purchased it within the past three years, so I think that's going to be scrutinized here, whether that contract for the original owners transfers to Mary Mary Black when they also purchased Very it. Interesting. I know you tried to reach out to Mary Black. Any response? No response as of yet. It, but it's going to be very interesting to see how much they're going to have to pay for private ambulance service and who's going to step up to the plate and do this for Cherokee County. We'll follow it. Brianna, thank you. Some